Ripple XRP $10,000 Endgame. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocker from Rockstar Trading Channel. In today's video, I'm probably making my craziest video on XRP, guys. I will be sharing with you what XRP is actually trying to do. People keep asking about XRP to 589, XRP to $10,000, or some crazy numbers. I want to share with you my long term perspective on XRP. Again, I'm not going to be negative about xrp or overly optimistic about xrp i'll share with you what my thoughts are what brad garlic house is trying to do i'll share with you a little bit about you know the the world debt so how much debt the world has how much inflation is affecting you know the inflation calculator so a thousand dollar back in 1914s is literally 38 dollars uh, sorry a thousand dollar now is literally 40 dollars back in the 19th century so anything can happen i'll talk about stock market gold what can be happening with the next potential recession recession that's coming up so we're sharing with you a lot of information guys hopefully you guys enjoy it. it is going to be a long video it's not going to be one of those uh, crazy videos you see on youtube I mean, if you have been watching uh, ripple xrp videos i don't i've not really been making uh, as many xrp videos if you guys remember i make xrp videos when they're breaking out when they're 19 cents i've not really been making those in the past couple of weeks and the reason is the price hasn't been uh, doing that much in the short term so the first thing i'll talk about is guys understand what you're trying to do are you an investor or are you looking to uh uh, are you trading the five minute time frame if you look at this chart guys this is a longer term a monthly chart of xrp so a, a daily move of five percent ten percent shouldn't affect you so that's my first point guys what whatever the price is now it shouldn't affect you if you are a long-term investor so the first thing that you have to do is understand what you're trying to do are you an investor or are you a trader if you are an investor looking at longer term prices of whether it's one dollar ten dollars whatever dollars uh, you think the price i will be sharing with you some strategies and and i'll do what i do best i'll be sharing with you my trading strategies and some levels i would be looking to buy xrp but understand that concept if you are a longer term investor don't get move and don't start changing strategies with a 10 percent move i think when xrp is go going up like five percent people start coming up with news xrp is going to this much dollars this xrp is going to that much and i'm a culprit as well you know uh, um, some of my youtube video titles again i try to make it a bit extreme but the information i provide is always solid and if you watch some of the other videos they keep talking about some crazy information and just repeating the information again i've not made a video like this before i probably won't make uh, as many after this uh, I want to share with you all the crazy information and, and want to make this video and share with you all my thoughts so if you haven't subscribed to my channel i recommend you subscribe to my channel I, I try to make a weekly or every other week video on xrp where the price is going again i've made videos on selling xrp and then it dropped 20 percent and i've talked about a lot of breakouts in xrp that worked out well and i've got some losses as well but watch my videos and make up your own mind of what you think but i will share with you exactly what i'm thinking and my trading strategies and i've been trading for a while so for the analysis that i provide I'd, I'd recommend that if you take 10 trades you have more winners and overall you will make money if you use my analysis so guys without further ado let's get into the video so first point i want to talk about is the end game theory so this is actually a really interesting tweet thread uh, it was uh, made by someone called santiago velez i've had some twitter uh, conversation with this guy so i'm gonna go through this and it is really interesting and again i'm not saying xrp is going to be the well reserved of currency or xrp is designed for ten thousand dollars but they do share some information and um, i'm going to read those articles then talk about the man himself brad garlinghouse and what he is trying to do with xrp uh, the liquidity of xrp and the remittance service xrp is trying to achieve and whether they can achieve it or not it's going to be a long-term thing again if you are a trader you're trading the five minute time frame again i've been doing a bit of trading in bitcoin in the five minute time frame but longer term i own some bitcoin that i'll never sell so same as xrp if you like xrp if you're invested in xrp the 10 percent, 20 percent drops it shouldn't affect you understand what you are are you an investor or are you a trader that is the most important point of the video whether xrp goes to ten thousand dollars or hundred dollars or whatever i mean i might i'll talk about what <laughs> the price of xrp uh, the 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 market cap or xrp have to beat for it to get to ten thousand dollars which is absolutely crazy so i'm not even going to talk about it at the end what the market cap of xrp needs to be for it to go to that price but i want to share with you uh, what actually uh, the the xrp and ripple are trying to do before i talk about those crazy numbers but i will share that with you of what the price 
price of XRP needs to be uh, for XRP to get to what the market cap needs to be for XRP to get to that crazy number at the end of the video. But let's get into what XRP is actually trying to achieve which is what you should be interested in as a fundamental investor you should be interested in this sort of stuff so the end game theory is in the following thread let me actually go into that thread so i can read it out for you so xrp endgame theory in the following tweet thread i present my thesis for why i believe the xrp ledger and by extension the xrp digital asset will be dominant bridge currency in the world i stand by this tweet so first i don't think this will happen with xrp the federal reserve will not use it imf will not use it the world bank will not use it average customers most likely will not use it directly or hold it with any great quant uh, quantity no central banks will use it nor should they i don't think ripple's grand plan is to incent in sensitivize any of the above institution to hold its great quantity even with regulatory uh, certainty this is despite the hyperbolic speculative speculative claims made by the vast majority of youtubers i think the end game is even bigger so he's making crazy claims and w one thing i do agree with him here is why would the government use e even bitcoin or even xrp they can create their own cryptocurrency i think that something that we will see in the future so you have to be careful with that guys and now again as a bitcoin investor i own quite a bit of bitcoin in cold storage that i'll never sell it whether it goes to a million or hundred thousand or something crazy I, I will always own some bitcoin the most brilliant conceptual leap but made by ripple r3 ibm etc is the concept of interoperability this concept lends itself to est establishing a layer one protocol for value transfer in the same manner tcp ip is a layer one information protocol this is the core of my theory and i've talked about interoperability with other coins you know ada link uh, icx I, I, I read there a white paper and i found it really interesting and i think that will have a huge implications in the future so if we, let's see whether ripple can do it and technically fundamentally again i'm not a the fundamental trader but this guy seems fundamental cryptocurrency trader and blockchain but this guy seems to know a lot more than i do ripple is working as a software enterprise consultant to the largest financial institutions in the world knowing full well they can't act accept count counterparty risk nor can they uh, make king make the fed can't be seen to favor one technology nor imf nor bog nor boa or santander ripple knows that if they all agree to interpret inter i can't pronounce that word to save my life using the interledger protocol they will create the bridges necessary for level playing field at present xrpl consensus method methodology for resolving storing escrowing value fast and securely is unparalleled the, the internet of value is the end game customized distributed ledger technology market product fit is used you be to co i can't pronounce this word to, pr to represent liquidity of all human assets both real and virtual the transaction per second this entails cannot be accommodated by any single ledger all central banks will digital, uh, digital, digitize fiat all banks will have coins to represent their internal assets jmp coin all the public p2p chains will have their consensus values btz etc all assets will be tokenized and i i do believe in tokenization of real estates banks and bonds and derivatives i think that will be the next step i mean if you watch my videos on tezos i think the bonds and the financial industry will all be token tokenized in the future again going back to the first point i made in the video whether you are an investor or a trader you have to think big if you're an investor you think in 10 years 20 years time not initially trading can help you breakouts can help you but if you're just investing you have to think about it long term how will the value travel these world gardens ecosystem to ecosystem will there be one currency to rule them all btc absolutely not only human value will rule and human value you will be tokenized digitalized the bridges will be connect connectors in the iov ilp the value transfer between ledgers will be facilitated in large part by at atomic transactions by xrpl and will be super national super technical with zero counterparty risk that is the end game eliminating counterparty risk in human value transfer with xrp so that is a really interesting point and you could see the guys the thesis that he makes is very very good it will be market makers that accept xrp and facil facilitate an order book to convert the value denomination not companies holding xrp maybe bank subsidiaries or in 
independent market maker so that is another point i wanted to make so you have to think long term and this is not going to happen overnight this is not going to happen overnight if we think it will happen overnight you shouldn't be investing guys you should be gambling and buying a millionaire uh, lottery and see if you uh, win Another point I talked about, you know, this crazy predictions is uh, um, already mentioned it, guys. The the value of money is decreasing. Thirty eight dollars is a thousand dollars. If you own th- if you own forty dollars, is like a thousand dollars now. So the price of money is going down, and the more money the U.S. government prints, the less the value of XRP gets. Not XRP gets the, the less the value of the dollar gets. So that's why you know holding cash is not a great investment because of inflation and the way they're printing money. The the especially when not just U.S. the world uh, banks are the way they're printing money. The central banks it is not good to just hold cash so that is another very important point to make so in the in the future if you look at the the debt that we've got you know 22 trillion and if you what i mean if you, there's a link which uh, looks at live uh, debt of the us uh, you'll see the the debt just keeps increasing exponentially and if it ha- if it carries on like that guys uh, the value of of stock gold cars houses can go to something exponential so the market caps can be crazy market cap isn't direct because market cap is literally the price of it at the moment which could be overblown when things go parabolic so rising debt is a global problem you can see the national debt of uh, some of these huge uh, countries especially us which is absolutely crazy how well, i don't know what's going to happen i've read economic books about it and i've read some interesting thoughts from economists what they think it will happen but it is absolutely crazy so this guy thinks xrp is perfectly positioned to serve as a world reserve currency it can be held in significant quantities to provide liquidity for foreign exchange reserves international transaction investment and all other uses although xrp is good for that i don't think that will happen just because the first uh thread that i read which talked about you know xrp why would banks use it why would governments use it why won't they create their own but if xrp you know if people want if people are using it and it, it's solving a real world problem then yes xrp could have a part to play in it um so that's and and it, it has got features with liquidity i'll talk about liquidity when i talk uh, talk about the brad garlinghouse interview um with the liquidity and, and the speed of transaction xrp provides that can have a part to play in it and when i talked about the debt and the value of money decreasing xrp's value could be exponential so this guy is saying xrp will be well reserve currency and it will be used to pay off debt so i'm not sure how that will help i will read this out for you to make up your own mind so it will be it will solve the debt crisis without devaluing fiat currencies for example the u.s government could buy xrp at very lows over the counter rates which wouldn't drive prices up on the retail exchanges like was major financial institution could also stock up on xrp at extremely attractive prices when all systems policies and agreements are in place they simply announce that xrp will reserve uh, this drives utility and demand which rapidly increases the price of xrp this would explain why u.s government imf and the world bank have been positive about ripple labs x rapids and xrp it would also explain why sec and other federal agencies not weighed in xrp status as a security or other type of assets it would also explain why the price of xrp has been very steady at low prices for more than 15 months so I don't necessarily agree with it. I could be wrong again. This could be something that I'm missing, but I just don't agree with that. I um, might more agree with the previous one that I read. This this is the same guy talking about his design for ten billion dollars. It talks about liquidity and availability, and I do agree with the liquidity of XRP, and it could uh, provide liquidity for international money transfers. I don't necessarily think it will drive the price to that much money. And it talks about you know if the entire one point one four quadrillion value of all assets was tokenized for xrp that would require at least eleven thousand dollar per xrp could that happen i'm not too sure and if the xrp price goes to eleven thousand dollars um if you eat there's if you look at the circulating supply of xrp being i mean is that what 43 billion I keep getting this wrong when I do it live if it's let's say 50 billion so if you time 50 billion by 11,000 you get something crazy a number and could the market cap be that high 
I'm not sure. So that is, you know, the market cap is basically the price times the the supply, and and if the price goes to that much, I'd, the market cap will have to be something absolutely ridiculous. Uh, is it going to happen in the next five, ten years? Not even that. Uh, we, we would have never thought when Bitcoin was, you know, less than a dollar that it could reach something crazy. So please be wary of this sort of uh, price predictions. I don't necessarily agree with it. And I talked about investment in XRP. I'll talk about it at the end, but just a disclaimer guys please don't invest your life savings xrp can easily go to zero um so bitcoin can go to zero i'm invested in bitcoin and i could lose my investment but bitcoin can go to zero xrp can go to zero please do not invest everything have some investments but please 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 do not take mortgage and and uh uh, just invest in xrp so talked about ripple is working on xrp based remittance products called on demand liquidity odl that aims to, at replacing the current cross-border money transfers model that depends on legacy system such as swift at the moment sending funds from countries such as united states and uk might take time so brad garlinghouse is trying to uh, tempt into taking this market and this is if you're an investor this is what should interest you more than five dollar moves or uh, five ten percent moves in 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 the price if you're a long-term investor if we can reduce the amount of oil money in pre-funded accounts that improves the efficiency of global economy so if you like bit by bit we are able to take that 10 trillion dollar down to 9 trillion and 8 trillion ripple is not only working with banks but larger financial inst uh, institutions or firms so this is what i think you know agree with it more how uh, ripples uh, quick transfer affordability and liquidity can help and can play a part in the market but one thing uh, i'll talk about the negatives as well in xrp in a bit i want to talk about this uh, another huge positive for xrp is this is what we want to say this is what you should be excited this is what the end game is about xrp helping solving a real world problem when we see more of that that when you see that you'll see the price of xrp going up so this was some great news i tweeted about this last week we did 54 million xrp flows into mexico i want to see more and more of this guys more and more of this what we see is going to help so you should get excited about this then a five ten percent move on the price if you are an investor i'm, I'm assuming a lot of your investor that watch this sort of videos on youtube most of my videos are technical analysis uh, of people that watch this sort of videos is aimed at a different sort of customers for this video so the negatives i want to talk about uh, negatives is ripple and xrp are different so could the the lot you can use ripple and not use xrp so will the price of xrp improve uh, it will the price of XRP improve if the Ripple keeps performing? Can Ripple's other products be used in XRP? No, I'm just asking questions. I'm um, just sharing with you my concerns on XRP as well. If you are an investor, if you believe in that, you need to look at both positives and negatives if you're investing in anything. So I want to share that as well. That is a concern. Ripple is different to XRP, and I've talked about it a lot. I've got videos explaining in detail. There's also a Ripple class action lawsuit, whether Ripple is a security or not. Uh, and where they violated the securities law that can have massive implications as well and this is not rumors you can read this yourself um, I'll leave the links below if you're interested just search ripple security uh, that can have a, a huge implications ripple have been trying to get rid of this lawsuit but it is going ahead and that will have huge impl implica implications on XRP I should have put this article next to the Mexico. This is another positive for XRP and what XRP is trying to do as traders or investors. Uh, you should be interested in, as investors specifically, you should be interested in the fundamentals. You should know everything about what I'm saying and do a lot more research uh, before you uh, invest your hard earned money. I'm, I'm mainly a trader of XRP than investing. You should uh, research the website, white paper, everything that you can on XRP and what XRP is trying to achieve. Achieve. Another thing is Ripple own a lot of XRP and they sell XRP uh, and when supply increases uh, and demand is not as much high the price will drop so you have to be wary of that as well. Ripple owns a lot of XRP themselves, the Ripple company. I've talked about the inflation that was a potential argument for the potential huge xrp price again i've said at the start of the video this is not a clickbait i've already said xrp and 10,000. what my thoughts is and again uh, brad garlinghouse talked about crypto is good in general 
and uh, i want to end near the near the end of the video i want to talk about uh, xrp or ripple as in longer term cryptocurrency can play a huge huge part you know there's a lot of people unbanked could cryptocurrency could xrp or another currency uh, cryptocurrency play a part in it bring banking to unbanked there's 1.7 billion adults the market cap of the world when africa and poorer countries in africa and asia they uh, become more developed they'll have more debt there's there's going to be more increase in price so you, you that also makes me think of whether the prices of these these uh, these currencies can they be a lot higher when when the poorer countries their gdp keeps growing so that's another thing for the crazy price predictions i've made again this is another positive for xrp uh, bringing xrp payments to 4 billion smartphone users around the world this is quite an interesting news if you are interested in ripple xrp so that's sort of the video i wanted to end the video on um what could potentially happen to cryptocurrency and bitcoin if stock market which has been going up for god knows how long has been going up like crazy it's up uh, massive percent we've not really seen a correction since 2007 there is going to be one when that happens how does bitcoin and cryptocurrency work could they be a hedge could they go up like gold gold is already up massively since the breakout could gold be going up again uh, and hit new highs uh, gold was i mean if you look at the price of gold i mean this is not the full chart gold was a lot lower and it has already come up a lot of uh, huge uh, it's gone up how much it's gone up 200 percent so could gold be going up a lot more as well uh, could bitcoin xrp these cryptocurrencies work as hedge and they go up as well so that's another the thing that you have to keep in mind so there's a few different things i want to talk about with you guys uh, and i've shared with you um what my thoughts are on xrp what the end game theory is and the first point that i made i want to make that point again are you an investor or a trader if you're an investor think about it long term please don't invest all your money you could lose all your money xrp bitcoin can go to zero but if you're interested guys if you're interested in xrp do your research buy some and you know <laughs> be prepared to lose money as well because you can you can lose all your money where there is trading investing you can lose your money if you're in, interested more in trading guys make sure you subscribe to my channel and i will be uh, making a video on myth busters for xrp I'll, I'll be looking at the myths that we've got with xrp whether xrp is a cryptocurrency whether people think xrp there's a lot of hate for xrp i'll talk about that and i'll probably this t top 10 myth on xrp i'll answer that maybe i'll premiere it i've been meaning to make that video i've not had the chance i will be making that video maybe next sunday next week so make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you're interested in trading i'll leave the links below to check my website guys i've made live calls entries and exits whether you're an investor uh, i share with you when to buy when to sell xrp and you can use that information to uh, maybe invest some in xrp like myself i've invested in bitcoin and then i trade as well and not only bitcoin i look at every coin do live streams got a live just released a video strategy video if you're interested if you join now you can find that i'll leave the links below if you're interested in finding out more on cryptocurrency so we do trading i'm mainly a forex trader but i've got a special interest in cryptocurrency we have been doing this since i've dealt with the huge bump in xrp and and cryptocurrency in 2017 also the dumps so i'll leave the links below and if you're interested you can check the group out guys it's a uh, you can join now you can also get a live strategy that i've done you can get started straight away with a simple profitable strategy and we're building a great community so i'll leave the links below to end guys i want to ask you your opinion on xrp do you think xrp can have that huge move up can go to crazy prices um do you think xrp can go to those five ten dollars or even five eight nine as people claim in the future like i said we don't know what's going to happen in ten thousand uh, in sorry in 10 20 years time there could be inventions that we've never even heard of uh, we could be using government cryptocurrencies we don't know so we shouldn't be naive if you're interested in short-term price action guys um i've not been making videos on xrp because we broke below that 25 cents and i've actually sold xrp here uh, as you can see and it's going down at the moment if you're looking to buy xrp i'll, I'll end the video on sharing with you my trading strategy two levels i'd be looking to buy xrp are sort of the 14 cents level i said uh, eight 
18 cent before I made a video and I'll be looking to buy around the 14 cent 12 cent level this will be the zone I look to buy XRP if it drops to that level guys but at the moment it's not looking bullish and since it's broken down I made a video here about selling XRP and I got a lot of hate but if you see how much it dropped since then it dropped about 43% so uh, that's why I said you can invest some and then use some to trade you could have bought XRP a lot cheaper at 40% cheaper so that's why I said uh, learn a bit about investing and trading I'll leave the links below if you're interested and I do live streams three four times a week you can ask me any questions on XRP and your trading strategies so that's my sort of trading strategy for XRP if we break back above 25 cents or drop to these levels and have a bullish price formation I will let you guys know and uh, what I'm when I'm looking to buy XRP so make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to end the video what is your price prediction or your thoughts on XRP comment below your thoughts on XRP do you think it will reach the crazy numbers do you think XRP can play a part is it is it i mean i'm not saying it's going to be a world reserve currency i don't think it will happen like i've said in the video but could it play a big part in the world remittance uh money would people be using xrp and can it solve real world problems and uh, comment below your thoughts on xrp fundamentally and comment below your price prediction for xrp so thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it's a long video i wanted to, to get my raw thoughts out there and just try to explain to you what my, how my feelings are on xrp because i do get a lot of questions on xrp so thank you very much for watching guys if you have enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button i will be doing that xrp myths video so i'll be answering all the questions that you had on xrp i'll make probably a half an hour long video on that so if you're interested in that subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and comment below your thoughts on xrp so thank you very much and go xrp